for Applied Learning Multimedia, COM, is one of the centers that deal directly with the teaching learning function in Unimas. Our location is at Faculty of Computer Science and Information Technology Building on Level 2. We provide a variety of programs and services to staff and students to enhance the quality of both conventional and online teaching learning experience. One of the services is to provide an online learning platform to conduct online teaching and learning sessions. The online learning system used by all students and lecturers is known as ELIP, e-learning enrichment and advancement platform. Let me introduce our e-learning team who could assist you in online learning system. Deputy Director of Learning Technology, Dr. Perry Lucas, myself, Coordinator for e-learning, Dr. Hafiza Abdul Halim Yun, Senior Assistant Director, Sharifah Norizat Wan Zain, Assistant Director, Siti Hawa Sulaiman. Technical Support, Zarina Mustafa. Assistant Information Technology Officer, Zarina Naini. Assistant Information Technology Officer, Marzuki Ibrahim. Photographer, Fitzpatrick Ricky Gwing. E-learning refers to a learning system that we can obtain through the internet using an electronic device, such as computer. E-learning is also known as online learning or online education. E-learning is the future of learning, where students can learn anywhere and anytime at their own pace, as long as they have access to a computer with an internet connection. E-learning is also a process of designing and developing online-based learning courses to dispense information quickly and conveniently to students. As overall, e-learning is a very quick way of learning. Blended learning is an approach to education that combines face-to-face -face learning with online educational materials. After receiving traditional face-to-face -face teaching or group work in a classroom, Blended learning also gives opportunity to students to learn and interact via Unima's official online learning platform called ELIP. ELIP is a web-based system where it could be accessed via web browser anywhere and anytime as long as students have access to an internet connection. Students are able to access ELIP via electronic devices such as computers, laptops, tablets, or smartphones. ELIP is used by lecturers to supplement teaching modules by providing essential learning materials and information. ELIP offers collaborative tools, activity-based learning, and interaction with materials that encourage critical reflections. ELIP is also a platform to allow participation in various teaching and learning online activities and assessments. We encourage students to keep up to date any online materials, activities, and assessments in ELIP to ensure they do not miss out any information. ELIP has provided a wide range of tools to enhance learning and teaching experience between lecturers and students. These tools help to share any online resources, to support communication between the lecturers and students, to support assessment, and to support collaboration activity. As ELIP is an Unimas official online learning platform, it is made available to all Unimas lecturers and students. In order to access ELIP, students are required to have an electronic device with internet connectivity. Web browsers such as Mozilla Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, and Opera are required in the electronic devices. It is highly recommended to use Mozilla Firefox or Chrome to access ELIP. It's optional to install additional plugins such as Adobe Flash, Adobe Shockwave, and Java in the electronic devices. Students can also preview and enroll available courses offered in ELIP. Students are able to download read or view all the learning materials and resources which has been uploaded by the lecturers in ELIP. 
The common online resources in ELIP are lecture notes, tutorials, and further readings in PowerPoint, PDF, or words format, useful links of any websites, and learning or teaching videos. ELIP provides a medium of communication between lecturers and students or among the students themselves by using the discussion forum, live chat, and private messaging. Every course needs assessment to evaluate students' performance. Online assignment submission is also available in ELIP. It is important for students to keep updated with schedules related to the assignments given by lecturers. One of the examples of online assignment submission is using Turnitin Assignment Tool. Turnitin is integrated into the assignment tool to verify originality of student work and identify possible instances of plagiarism due to improper paraphrasing or excessive quoting from other students, websites, books, and articles. Students need to be aware that only 25% similarity is accepted. Online assessments and exam practice could be conducted via online quizzes. Some of the quizzes in ELIP has been set up for automated online marking. Based on the marking results, students are able to perform self-assessment to determine level of understanding towards the course. To make teaching and learning online sessions more interesting, various learning activities and interactive tools such as Kahoot, Padlet, Edpuzzle, Quizzes, Mentimeter, and Google Forms could be embedded in ELIP. How to get started in using ELIP? There are two methods to access ELIP login page. First method is by using direct link at elip.unimas.my and click login. Second is via Unimas official website at www.unimas.my and click login. On the login page, Sign in with Unimas identity by keying in student's matriculation number and password. Once the students have successfully logged in into ELIP, students will be able to view My ELIP page or also known as the dashboard. On the left-hand side under Main Navigation, students will be able to view the list of courses which has been assigned to the students. The course events such as deadlines of all assignments will be marked on the calendar and will be listed under upcoming events. It is important for the students to keep updated with schedules or events to ensure submission of assignments on time. Any badges given by the lecturers can be viewed on the right-hand side of ELIP page. On the top right corner of ELIP page, Students may click on the user menu to view the student's profile. In the profile, it displays students' information such as student's name, profile photo, list of courses and login activity where it could also be viewed by other users. To update the profile, click on the user menu on the top right corner of Elite page and select profile. Then. Students will be able to update information such as city or town and write a brief description or introduction about themselves. We encourage students to upload their photo in their profile picture. And it is also worth to check whether the time zone is accurate or not as this may affect especially in accessing the scheduled events such as quizzes or assignments. Students need to self-enroll to access the course by clicking on the search icon on the top right corner of ELIP page. Search by course code or course title. Click the course title you wish to enroll. If the course requires an enrollment key, please ask your lecturer or tutor for the password. The enrollment key is to be entered for first-time access only. Let's watch the following video to get started with ELIP. Use the direct link at elip.unimas.my to access the ELIP login page. Then click Login. 
On the login page, sign in with Unimas Identity by keying in your student matriculation number and password. Students need to self-enroll to access the course. Click on the search icon. Search by course code or course title. Click on the course title you wish to enroll. If the course requires an enrollment key, ask your lecturer or tutor. The enrollment key is only needed for first-time access. To update your profile, click on the User menu and select Profile. Then, click Edit Profile. You may update your information. You should make sure to upload a photo of yourself for your profile picture. You may update additional information, such as faculty and department, under the Optional category. Then, click Update Profile. To log out, click on the User menu and select Log Out. Then, click Log Out from Unimas ID. Online Learning Do's Number 1. Get familiar with the technology so your online learning session will be more fun and enjoyable. Number 2. Be open to try new things. Trial and error is one of the best ways to learn in online learning. Number 3. Ask questions if you are unclear about something. The more you ask, the more options you will have to solve a problem. Number 4. Make yourself visible by participating in all online activities. Remember, your thoughts and opinions matter during online learning. Number 5. Be independent and self-motivated. Keep on spreading good vibes among your friends. Number 6. Sharing is caring. Knowledge increases by sharing, not by saving. Number 7. Manage your time wisely. Keep updated with schedules related to assignments given by the lecturers to ensure you will not miss submission deadlines. Number 8. As a student, you need to take responsibility for your own learning. Number 9. Take a break and have fun while you're at it. Online learning don'ts Number 1. Getting frustrated with technology To blame technical issues is not an excuse for poor performance. Number 2. Giving up right away Great success is built upon failure. Keep going and keep trying. Number 3. Thinking that online learning is just sitting in front of a computer or laptop for hours. Remember, you still have to meet your group members to discuss about group assignments. Number 4. Don't take negative comments too personally. Take it as a constructive criticism. There's always a room for improvement. Number 5. Don't stress yourself with assignments. Take a break once in a while. Number 6. Plagiarism is unethical. It is not right to take ideas and words from others and make it your own. Number 7. Spam. Never open suspicious emails or messages because spam can cause harm by infecting a user's computer with virus. Number 8. Never share your password and keep it confidential. You are only allowed to log in into your personal account. Number 9. Don't forget to log out. This is to protect you against unauthorized account access. If you've forgotten your password and wish to reset your password, please visit Unimas portal and click Forgot your password at the bottom of the page. You need to provide information such as matriculation number, 
an IC or passport number and click Send to request password reset. A message will be given via student's alternate email address which provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to reset password. Let's watch the following video on how to reset password. If you forget your password and wish to reset it, click Forgotten Unimas ID Password on the login page. Provide the necessary information, including your matriculation number and IC or passport number, and click Send to request a password reset. Feeling lost? More guidelines can be found at the is.gd slash guide for students webpage. If you have technical issues on eLeap, please send an email to eLeap at unimas.my or call 082-583-684. Besides INIP, UNIMAS also offers courses through a MOOC platform, which stands for Massive Open Online Courses. Courses offered through this platform are designed to cater a large number of students and to the general public. UNIMAS MOOC is offered for free and it is open to the public with no limitations on enrollment numbers. Unimas MOOC includes a wide selection of topics, specifically tailored according to its three niche areas biodiversity and environmental conservation, information communication and creative technology, and sustainable community transformation. All Unimas MOOCs are available in the MOOC platform called Open Learning. Currently, 37 Unimas MOOCs are available in open learning such as Sarawak Malay Dialect, Multimedia Technology and Design, Animal Physiology, Basic First Aid, and much more. To visit Unimas MOOC at Open Learning webpage, you may scan the QR code. Or, you may use the direct link at www.openlearning.com com slash Unimas MOOC. Let's watch the following video for a quick guide on how to get started with Unimas MOOC in open learning. To create a new account in open learning, search for Unimas MOOC. Then, Click on Unimas MOOC Open Learning webpage. On the Open Learning webpage, click Sign Up to create a new account. Make sure to sign up using official university email address. Your password must not contain more than 4 characters common in sequence from your email address. Enter your full name. Click I agree to the terms of service box and complete the capture verification. Then click get started button. On the Open Learning webpage, click Log In. Enter your official Unimas email address and password. Then click Log In button. Once you have successfully logged in into Open Learning, 
you will be able to view several courses on the Open Learning webpage. Click on Find out more to get more information on the course that you want to enroll in. You will be able to view summary and learning outcomes of the course. Once you have found a course that interests you, click on Join now to enroll the course. Then, you may start your course. Let's watch the following video for a quick guide on how to log in and enroll Unimasmoop in Open Learning. Once you have successfully logged in into Open Learning, you will be able to view several of Unimas MOOC's categories. Scroll down the web page to check out some of popular courses in Unimas MOOC Open Learning. Click on Find out more to get more information on the course that you want to enroll in. Once you have found the course that interests you, click on Join Now to enroll the course. Then, you may start your course. Last but not least, Keep calm and enjoy your student's life in Unimas. Let's watch the following video on 10 Essential Online Study Tips by Dr. Terry Lucas, Deputy Director of Learning Technology. Welcome, and to most of you, welcome back to Unimas. This is Terry Lucas from the Center for Applied Learning and Multimedia. In this video, I am going to share with you 10 essential online study tips. I hope that these tips will be useful for you in embarking on the journey of a fully online learning experience. So without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one, visit Elib frequently to check for announcements, updates and feedback. Your lecturers will upload the learning resources and learning activities in ELIP. At the same time, they will share announcements and updates in ELIP too. Hence, you need to check all your courses regularly so that you do not miss any assignments and deadlines. Tip number two, plan a weekly study schedule. As a student, you need to manage your time, set schedules, and complete assignments on time. You need to find a specific time slot to work on your class assignment. This will keep you on track with all the learning activities given by your lecturers. In short, create a routine schedule for the semester and make sure you stick to it. Besides that, you can create a to-do list to help you keep track of your assignments and help you to stay focused. Remember, students who procrastinate always miss their deadlines and usually will not perform well in class. Tip number three. Be aware of synchronous or asynchronous online teaching sessions. Some of the lecturers may want to conduct their class in synchronous mode, also known as a virtual live session. Some may wish to conduct the session asynchronously which means the class lectures are done via a pre-recorded session. Not all courses will run the same way, so please watch out for these different modes of teaching approaches. Always ask your lecturers how they plan to conduct their classes online. Tip number four, watch videos in medium or low resolution. In online learning, you will be viewing recorded lectures regularly. If you are assessing your online class using your prepaid data, you might want to minimize the video resolution to a medium or low resolution to save some data. Higher definition resolution videos will consume a lot of data. Also, if your data plan is limited, try not to waste the data on irrelevant online games and social media. 
Thus, monitor your internet data usage regularly. Tip number five: Actively participate in online learning activities. Active participation in learning activities is crucial to an enjoyable and meaningful online experience for everyone. These learning activities may come in various forms, such as quizzes, quick polls, questionnaire, forum. Group discussion, video presentation, and lots more. Never miss the chance to participate in these activities. After all, these activities are designed to help you to strengthen your understanding of the topic at hand. Also, your lecturers may take your participation as class attendance. You can also participate by asking questions. Do not be shy to ask questions about the issue at hand. Chances are that if you do not understand something, other students may have the same question. Tip number six: Create a personal study place or environment. Learning from home is quite convenient. Still, you may face some distractions from your family members and even your pets. During live online classes, you would like to be in a quiet room where there are no background noises. That might distract your learning session. Please ask nicely the people in the house to allow you to study as peacefully as possible. Tip number seven: Mute the microphone when you are not speaking. In a live online teaching session, background noises might be emitted from the students' background environment. Your microphone usually can record these background noises. In turn, it will create some distracting sounds when you are trying to listen to your lecturer's speaking. You can turn on or unmute your microphone when the lecturer asks the class for any questions. Tip number eight: Facing a problem or a technical problem, contact your lecturers immediately. Due to the unstable internet connectivity or other issues. You might face technical difficulty accessing Elip, submitting assignments online, or participating the live online classes. You must speak up so that your lecturer is aware of the issue. If contacting your lecturer is not possible, you can inform your fellow classmates so that they can help inform your lecturers about your situation too. If you do not notify your lecturer, they will not be able to help you. Therefore, make sure to ask your lecturers how you can contact them if you are having such problems. Tip number nine: Empathize with your lecturers, your classmates, and yourself. The sudden transition from regular face-to-face -face class session to online mode can be stressful. Both lecturers and students face the same challenges. All parties will need some time to get used to communicating with each other online. Hopefully, things will be easier with practice. Let us help one another to ensure the online class will go as smoothly as possible. So please be kind and thoughtful to one another. Tip number ten: Enjoy the new experience. On the bright side, this is an exciting experience for everyone. So stay positive and try to enjoy learning through the online mode. Always motivate and support your classmates. Take short breaks if necessary. You might want to rest your eyes and stretch your body occasionally too. Take this experience as an excellent opportunity to be a self-directed learner. In addition, this experience allows both lecturers and students to be more creative. And explore various innovative teaching and learning approaches. So have fun while you are at it. So, those are the ten online study tips that you can try and apply. We hope that these tips can help you with your preparation for online learning. If you have additional tips of your own, please share them in the comment section below. We would like to hear from you too. Also, if you find this video useful, please drop us a like and share this video with your friends and family members. Last but not least, stay calm, stay safe, and learn online.
thank you so much for your time and attention. This is Terry Lucas. See you in class.